Now we are going to see multiply with the regrouping. Regroup once. Okay. Let's start the sum. Multiply the ones. First, that is first step. Multiply the ones. So if it is hundred tens and ones. We have to write the place value as it is. So two zero five. That is five ones zero tens and two hundreds. So you are going to multiply by that is three digit number with the single digit number. So so I am going to multiply by three with two not five. Two hundred and five. So first I start with multiple the ones. Okay. Five into three. That is five into three. You can get fifteen. Okay. That is. Five ones is going to multiply by three. You can get fifteen ones. Okay, that means fifteen ones. So what I'm going to write? You have to write that is one tens and five ones. Okay, one tens and five ones. So you must write the five ones. You must take the five ones here because I have written in the what ones place. The remaining one tens is go to the tens place. Okay, so first step is over. Step one: multiply the ones. You must write the place value first, and according to the place value, you have to write the numbers. You must write the three-digit number. So three-digit number is two not five. Is going to multiply by three. First, you start with ones. So five ones is going to multiply by three. You can get fifteen ones. That means one tens and five ones. This five ones, I have taken only the five ones in the What ones place? I've written the five ones in the ones place. The remaining one tens is go to the tens place value. Okay. Now we are going to do the multiply the tens. So first you have to write the five ones. Now carry over you have to write already in the tens place. So now what is the number in the tens place? Zero. So zero tens is multiplied by three. That means zero tens into three. You can get what zero tens. So the carryover is what plus what plus carryover is one tens. So the answer is one tens. So you have to write one year because zero into the zero tens is multiplied by three. You can get what zero tens is multiplied. Zero tens is going to multiply by three. You can get zero tens. Then the carryover is one tens. Also added with that. Zero tens plus one tens, you can get zero plus one, you can get one tens. So you have written the one in the tens place value. So multiply the tens is over. So for hundred there is no carry over. Now we are just go to the step three. Multiply the hundreds. First you write the what five ones and one tens. You must write as it is. Now we are going to multiply the what hundred place. Value. What is the number in hundred place two? That means two hundred is going to multiply by three. You have to write two hundreds going to multiply by two hundred is going to multiply by three. You can get what? That is six hundreds. Six hundreds. So there is no carryover. You have to write as it is six. So the answer is six one five six hundred and fifteen. Six hundred and fifteen, six hundreds, one tens, and five ones. The answer is six one five. That means six hundred and fifteen, six hundreds, one tens, and five ones. I'll repeat. The answer is six hundred and fifteen. That is six hundreds, one tens, and five ones. Okay. Here you must write that is five ones. You must write five ones into three. That is what. Okay. So I think so. You understand the sum very clearly. First, multiply with regrouping. Regroup ones. You have to multiply two not five into three. The two not five is a three-digit number. Multiply with a single-digit number. First, you start with the what? Multiply the ones. First, you have to write the place value. So, according to the place value, you have to write the numbers: two not five, two hundreds, and zero tens and five ones. Multiply by three. First, you start with ones. That is the eighteenth step. One is multiply the ones. So, five into three, five tens into sorry, sorry, two not five, two hundred, zero tens, and five ones. Step one is what? Multiply the ones. I start with ones. Five ones. Multiply by three, five ones. Multiply by three, you can get fifteen ones. How are you going to write to 
how you going to write the 15 ones how you going to split otherwise how you going to how you going to split the 15 ones that means 1 tens and 5 ones so 5 ones i have taken the 5 ones and also i've written written the 5 ones in the ones place step 1 is over now step 2 multiply the tens you must write as it is write the place value according to place right, according to the place value you have to write the numbers so 5 ones you write as it is then you have to what you have to multiply the tens what is the number in the tens place that is 0 so 0 tens is going to multiply by 3 so 0 tens into 3 you can get 0 tens only the carry over you have tried already so 1 tens also here so 0 tens plus 1 tens you can get 0 plus 1 you can get 1 tens that means you have to write the 1 tens in the one tens place value so step 2 is over there is no carry over for hundreds better you can go to the step 3 to multiply the hundreds first you write the place value according to the place value you have to write the numbers then you have to write the what ones place value once so ones place answer and tens place answer what is the number that is five ones and one tens you have to write as it is then you have to multiply the hundreds so how many hundreds 100 place what is the number 200 so 200 is going to multiply 200 is going to multiply by 3 200 is going to multiply by 3 means what you will get 200 into 3 you can get 600 so there is no carryover you write as it is 600 so answer is 615 615 615 that means 600 one tens and five ones this is the right answer for the question this is what step by step method this is called as a regroup once